Welcome to our show, Film Talk with AJ Dean. I'm AJ Dean, your host, and I have a wonderful actress today from London, England. Her name is Jassie Mortimer, and she is absolutely fabulous. So let's give us let's give her a warm welcome. Hi, Jassie. So glad that you are here with us today. How are you? Hi, AJ. Um, I'm very well, thank you. Thank you for having me on your show. How are you? We are doing wonderful, and we're so excited to have you today. You're an absolute delight, delightful actress, and we've got some really fun um, fun uh, movies and, and posters to talk about. But what I want to start off with, Jassy, is could you tell us your first memory of film or your first memory of the movies? Oh, that would be all of those in black and white. So Greta Garbo, um, like Western movies. Um, yeah, definitely Greta Garbo would be the one. <laughs> I was very little. So. <laughs> um, and what impression when you saw Greta Garbo on the screen, how did it make you feel? I want to do that job. You know, I, I want to wear those dresses. I want to be in love or hurt in love or adventurous. You know, she was such a great actress. And um, yeah, it's just her expressions were uh, different. She, she stayed kind of with me um, as of one, from one of my first memories. <laughs> wow. Um, this is amazing. You know, I have the same birth date as her, September 18th. Oh, that's amazing. Um, that's some, that date actually means something to me as well. So it's one of my anniversaries. Uh, yeah, that I, yeah. <laughs> really? Um, oh, isn't that amazing? So I'm so glad that you shared that with me today because numbers do, numbers are important, aren't they? I, I think they are, yeah. And uh, I was kind of into numerology when I was, when you're a teenager, you know, like you're kind of exploring horoscopes and all of that stuff. And uh, yeah, they, they, they mean something. Yeah, they mean something. Absolutely. You know, right date, right time, that time, that date, you know, and good things happen or bad things happen. So I don't know. <laughs> Yes, I believe that. I believe in good things happening. And um, I love numbers, you know, like three. I love three and I love eight. What are some favorite numbers of yours, Jess Jesse? Uh, probably uh, five for some reason. That, that, that's the number from my childhood. Why five? I, I don't know. It's kind of like my lucky number. And number 13. And today is 13th. So. <laughs> I love oh I, I love 13 also. 13 is a wonderful number, isn't it? I I love number 13. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> in England we don't have like a um, number 13 on a houses. So my house I lived before this one was number 15, but my next door neighbor was number 11. And <laughs> I'm like, well, where's the number 13? It's like, oh, it's a lucky number in England. You, you, you don't have like a number 13. I'm like, oh, it's my lucky number. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that something? Yes, you know, um, so you were, you're from originally uh, Zagreb, Croatia. Isn't that yes. right? And you moved to London. Um, and in 1996, you uh, got your education at the Zagreb, Croatia Youth Theater. Tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so that was the best thing I ever done for myself in my life. Uh, but actually, I was lucky. Um, we that was one and only uh, drama school because we have only Academy of Drama. So that's when you finish your school, like you're going to have your degree, so you become an actor. Yeah, but what they try to do is to uh, 
come up with a program, special program for talented kids. So they may actually scout about three and a half thousand pupils from that kind of generation. Um, they've made, I think it was something like three or four classrooms uh, of maybe 10, 15. And by the end of it, there was only one class left because, you know, kids dropped out and stuff. So I've managed to stay with them from, from the beginning. Um, and basically it was fantastic program uh, compared to like Academy of Drama. Um, but they wanted to fight for us to kind of have some kind of diploma at the end, but it was uh, done uh, through um, Ministry of Culture in Croatia. So it's like, they said, no, then we're gonna lose like academy kind of thing. We are small country. So now nowadays it's different because you have lots of drama groups and stuff everywhere. But yeah, I feel that it was very special because they picked me to be part of the program. So I've learned a lot. <laughs> yes, I, I love hearing about that. What a wonderful education. And really, that was a once in a lifetime, you know, there's once in a lifetime events and and things that that uh, happened to us. And you took advantage of that. And I'm so proud of you because it's a beautiful education to have on your resume and um, and on IMDB. It's very prestigious and and, and wonderful. And, and Jesse, I want to talk about all the great movies you have been in. You're a phenomenal actress, and I want to share with the audience, our audience and your fans, a few of the movies that you've been in. So you've been in uh, Miss You Already 2015. You were the stand-in for Tony Collette. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, that was Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. You know, that was the best uh, with Drew Barrymore. And uh, it's nice like when was the, the, the final rap, you know, and then Drew walked to me and said, oh, thank you, Jesse. I'm like, oh my God, Drew Barrymore knows my name. That's so cool, you know, and Tony was just like smiling on the side. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, okay, <laughs> you're good. <laughs> so Maybe. yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah. Amazing that you got to meet them and be there with them on set. And um, can you share with us? Um, was it was it a, a long wait on set? What? How was it on the set when you when you filmed there? Uh, it was it was amazing. Honestly, we were like uh, on schedule. Um, the director. Um, oh, now, 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 now you ask me. She, she was a mate, Catherine. Oh, Harvick, Harvick. Um, anyway, um, everything uh, was run smoothly, so uh, it was nice because they they liked me, um, so they kept me for quite a long time to be Tony's stand in. Um, it. It was a beautiful experience. It was, I don't know if you know, if you've seen the movie, it's very emotional. So uh, there was that last scene uh, where what we filmed um, and Tony <laughs> dies. <laughs> and um, it was one of those dates, we were talking about numbers, where we had a couple of crew members uh, saying, oh gosh, uh, I don't think I'll be there tomorrow because we're filming this and, you know, it's kind of, um, I've lost my mom or I said, I know it's a special day for me as well because on that day I kind of lost someone as well. So we all kind of were um, in that emotion, you know, and uh, and they've done a brilliant job, both of them. They're, they're just both amazing actresses. So privilege. It's like, I can die now, you know, <laughs> one of those things. <laughs> yeah. It's it really pleasure. incredible, just a, a, a wonderful memory. And you'll always have that in your heart. Um, yeah. And this is, this is what life is made of, these beautiful memories like Drew Barrymore and Tony, um, you know, Tony Collette, just, just absolutely fabulous. So congratulations on that, Jassy. Thank you. you did really well. And I love hearing about how on set everything was organized and on time. And that's true professionalism. How important is that to you, Jassy? Well, it's very important because um, we actors, we get like uh, crazy auditions through uh, 
I'm like, well, am I doing, let's say for an advert, like, well, I can't film this. It's impossible. Why are you sending me the whole filming script? Just send me what you want. How do you see this character? You know, so we, we want you to cut into this. I said, well, I'm not an editor, so I'm an actor. You know, I have my background. I have my camera. You know, this is what I do. I perform. You do the rest. So, uh, in my eyes, you know, often my agent is very picky. So she would always put at the bottom, like, this is serious casting. Uh, let's say I was just recently auditioned for Nina Gold, you know, um, Nina Gold, yeah. So this would be my um, second time or third time auditioning for her. And, um, and she knows, you know, like she's looking for Eastern European actors with, with, with an accent um, that age. Bam, you know, Jesse, can you film? And and it's done so professionally, like from that first thing when we get the audition, then I know if whatever is the, the project, you know, film series, uh, I know it's going to be done and run on time, professionally, you're looked after, you know, you know who your contact is. And not like you, you don't even know where you're going sometimes, you know, <laughs> it's like, what is this? You know, you just want to turn around and go back home. But so it, it is so important when everybody knows uh, what they're doing. But surprisingly, um, smaller productions I, I've been part of uh, also often run very, very professionally, like on time, no messing up, you know, it's my project, they're, they're looking to it. So it doesn't always mean that if something is like a like a big movie or, or a big budget uh, film, um, lots of things can happen, you know. Uh, so doesn't mean it can run smoothly, but yeah, so smaller production also uh, can run really, really well, yeah. I was lucky. I think you're right, AJ. I was quite lucky. I can only talk absolutely. nice things about it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, absolutely. And, um, you know, it, it makes a difference, too. Um, and, and so I'm so thankful that you had a great, so you've had wonderful experiences on set. And I did want to give a special shout out and hello to Deborah Wooten. That is how we met on Clubhouse, the five to nine club. Deborah Wooten, we love you. Mwah. Isn't that right, Jassy? Deborah is amazing. I love Deborah so much. So I met Deborah actually in London and we are meeting again uh, this year, uh, now in July. So if you're over this, this side of the pond, come over. Uh, it's the 5th of July when we are meeting up and uh, it, will, it will be lovely to see her again because she's just one of those amazing people with amazing energy, encouraging, you know, if I plug on onto our little lunch thing on the clubhouse, I know I'm going to feel great for the rest of the week, rest of the month. It's just because she shares lovely energy with everyone. Um, I love Deborah. She's my number one. <laughs> I, do I do too. She's one of a kind. And as you said, we just, we simply adore her because she's always uplifting and supportive and always there for us no matter what. And so Deborah, yeah. thank you so much for introducing us to Jassy. Uh, she's wonderful. And Deborah, we, we simply, simply love you. So wanted to give a shout out and thank you so much to Deborah. Uh, Deborah Wooten. Um, I did want to talk about, Jassy, the two posters we have on screen. Sometimes you just got to have faith uh, with the title Last Christmas. And also, uh, Jassy, uh, you also, along with Gillian Broderick, um, created uh, Shoes, written and directed by Chris Stone. Can you tell us about both of those movies? Yes, yeah, so uh, last Christmas is um, uh, it's just such a beautiful Christmas film. And it is very special um, because it was uh, George Michael's last project. And whoever watches the movie, probably this Christmas maybe, um, just keep, keep an eye on the bench where um, a couple kind of sit and meet in the park. There is a date plaque with a date on it, 
which is 24th of uh, 25th of December 2016. That's when uh, George Michael passed on. So in the memory, they kind of put there. The, there's lots of little details, you know, uh, about it. So basically, what we were told um, at the screening is that they went to Michael and asked him, "Would you write music?" Uh, for the film, we would like to do a Christmas film. He said, well, only if um, Emma writes the script, Emma Thompson. And they went back to Emma and she said, oh, no, I'm not. I was like, well, John Michael said that, you know, he will write the music. But sadly, uh, George Michael passed away. And um, so they have to wait for, um, you know, all those copyrights, if they can use the music. And so, so it took kind of, took them about a couple of years to get everything right in, in writing so that they could start filming. And then I went to audition in London, Camden Town, and I passed the audition. They were looking again for um, kind of Croatian uh, lady, that kind of age and look. And I was so pleased that I passed the audition and uh, I filmed my scene that was called Brexit. I don't know what they call it Brexit um, because uh, you know how people are kind of treated who are foreign in London. So they, they really just wanted to show that picture um, kind of, you know, little incident on a bus. Uh, so, oh my God, you know what was the best part of that film? When we were filming, when Emma actually came to me, um, when we were filming on a bus, um, we only had like a couple of takes. And she said, she she was like nearly in tears. She suggested that's exactly how I imagined to be. Oh, Thank you. I'm going to cry. And then we had a huge hug. And I love that lady. I want to work with her again. You know, um, yes, just just nice and 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 beautiful and for um uh, em uh Amelia Clark to speak creation that she learned over weekend her little uh, dialogue um, monologue whatever we had on a bus um she's very talented actress as well like crazy crazy talented that girl is yeah fabulous so, and 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 Jassy um what a night, an, again, another night, a nice hug from, I love Emma Thompson. She is just so excellent as an actress. And having that um, experience on the bus, again, another great uh, part that you played. And where can people watch Last Christmas? Uh, I think we'll be shown on TV. <laughs> Usually it is now uh, in England, I think BBC or ITV, they will kind of show a Last Christmas. I managed to catch it on Netflix. I'm sure that maybe, I'm not sure, because I don't have Amazon so uh, and other platforms, I just have Netflix. But yeah, I watched it on on, on the Netflix. That was Last Christmas, yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Congratulations on that. and. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that. And we loved my um, George Michael as well. Such a phenomenal musician and artist and, and person and human being. Uh, we loved him and adored him. And gosh, Emma Thompson, wow. She's like one of, up there up on, on the top, you know? Um, yeah. What an incredible experience you had. And so thankful that you're here to share this with us. Jassy, um, anything else you wanted to say about that movie before we talk about shoes? Um, just to say um, that I yeah, no, it's just to say that um, everyone uh, is so down to earth, you know. And I'm so pleased that I worked with people who are amazing talents, amazing creative people, uh, and so like so down to earth and. Uh, that that's fantastic you know and I love Emma Thompson she's she's, she's just incredible incredible lady <laughs> yes she is she is and um just love her to the moon and back um it, it's really it's so great to hear all of these wonderful behind the scenes um uh, moments that make part you know that make these films these feature films and these productions um, and the, the stories, it sounds like a lovely 
story. So make sure to check it out on Netflix or ITV or BBC and watch Last Christmas. Um, okay, let's go and talk now, Jassy, about shoes. Um, this is fascinating because the poster has like a robot on it or something. Can you tell us about that? <laughs> Yeah, no, that I know it, it's completely crazy. So <laughs> Gillian Broderick Jill, my friend Jill, bless her, she's she's lovely. Um, she uh, wanted something like a short film that is a little bit um, a little bit different, you know, like a, like like shoes, so like sci-fi kind of thing. And um, <laughs> she picked me. She said. Uh, would you like to film this with me? And I'm like, yeah, okay. You know, <laughs> she knows so many people, but she asked me to do it. I was like, yeah, of course. Um, so we were sent script very, very late, basically night before. And we have to film because it's a short film. So it was a bit naughty to send us this late. Uh, but it was an amazing day of filming. Um, those feet there, they're my ones. And that little little thing whatever it is I actually when you press it um it kind of uh deletes me I don't exist anymore so <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like one of those you know <laughs> so uh, that was um that was great experience and uh yeah I had my feet called all the way uh from north of England to, to back to south <laughs> all the way back home because it was the winter time when we filmed this and uh yeah I'm just so grateful to Jill that she she wanted to work with me uh not just being friend actor but like I really want to work with you I know you know this will be good so um yeah and she she sent it off to I think was a, we had screening about shoes in London um, with uh, like evening of short films. One of our other, uh, one of my actually uh, colleague um, actor, Irish actor, he he kind of organized it for, for quite a long time before the lockdown. And then, you know, everything's gone quiet uh, where that was shown and it looked really really good we we got lots of compliments uh, for this film um amazing so amazing this is an original idea right from jill it's her story yeah 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 and um she worked uh, with a with a director who filmed us and uh she kind of like was tweaking things with him and here's the script you know uh <laughs> So, so. You're, you, you, this is really fun. Um, you play a variety of roles, and I want to share a few other great films that you have been featured in, Jassy, because it's so it's such a treat to talk to you. It's it's really so wonderful. Um, you yeah, have sure. played you played um, the action vehicle driver in London Has Fallen. I saw that. That's an incredible movie in 2016. You were also in Assassin's Creed in 2016. You played a female Mason and um, you were in uh, another movie, Intent, in 2016. Um, also, uh, Sisters, a short in 2017, you played Jenny. Yeah. Uh, and a Disclaimer, uh, 2024, a TV miniseries you um, tell us about that disclaimer in 2024. That was kind of a. That was so, a, yeah. I decided to come down from the throne, you know, and become part of a crew. So basically, uh, I, <laughs> I was working uh, on this for all of the last year um, as a part of a department, COVID department. <laughs> doesn't really. <laughs> Things go that doesn't really exist anymore, so it's gone down now. Um, and yeah, we finished filming. Um, uh, I think January. Uh, I kind of left uh, just before Christmas, um, and that was amazing experience. Just to kind of be on the other side. Um, I liked it, to, to, <laughs> um, but I actually prefer to be what I am an actress yes. you know uh kind of that's my domain <laughs> you yes. know what I mean yes um, and also so I want to thank you also for your service in uh helping with the COVID um 
compliance and, and helping that in that way, Jassy, because that's so important to the production. But yes, your main focus and goal is being an actress. And you were, you've also been in Dobara, See Your Evil in 2017, and very popular called Black Mirror. It's a very popular British TV series. Tell us a little bit about Black Mirror. Yeah, so that was a long time ago when they kind of first started with Black Mirror. Now it's very big. I actually have seen the thing on, I think it's on Netflix also showing now. So it's becoming very big and they have all these amazing actors there. So again, it was one of those small roles and um, I was uh, part of a friend of a main actor, gosh, it was so long time ago, um, in a pub scene where he needs to fight drunk fight and then he looks at his friends like <gasps> so, i honestly try to catch it um oh, but you know because it was a while back maybe I, I don't know if they're showing from the first episode but it was very actually similar thing happened to that character, like what happened to me in shoes. When we were filming shoes, when they, they said they were gonna click you to delete you, I said, oh my gosh, this is like in Black Mirror when I filmed that thing, but like nobody knows about it, only I know. Yeah, and one of the other uh, short roles I had, it was in Chewing Gum. Um, so that was, I was a floor manager and um, of the restaurant where they had seen, um, yeah, again, she got, she was like on drugs by mistake, you know, and it's just like, so yeah, quite interesting, um, interesting variety of characters, but I usually play a psychologist, they, that's what I'm often like later on now cast for a nurse or doctor or something, which is, uh, I like it, yeah, yes, that's good. And, and Jesse, you're perfect for it because um, actually, actually, you can you you're such a versatile actress that you can play a number of different roles. Um, you know, I see you uh, as as doing so many different ones, and so um, and that's a consummate actress. That's like you know Emma Thompson. Um, she can do anything, and so I look at you in that same same light and in that same way. Um, thank you so much for sharing that with us, and also. Um, on screen now, I have the Little Dipper or Bust picture, and we want to give a special thanks to uh, the director, Gavin Irvine, who gave us this picture. And so, hi, Gavin. Thank you so much for this. And we're going to talk about it. Um, as you can see, the picture is here. It's, it's called Little Dipper or Bust or Racing for the Stars, and then you get a puncture. <laughs> so, so I just want to tell a little bit about this. Um, I saw the Vimeo video. Thank you for sending it, Jassy. It's wonderful, and I encourage other people to uh, check it out. Um, it's by Gavin Irvine. He's a writer, director, and producer, and it's a fun comedy. It's delightful with laughs and gags, and it's based on cycling. It has a singing angel in it, bikes. It's like a comedic fairy tale, if you will. And what I love about it, and I hope you and Gavin appreciate this, I love Monty Python. So it's got a little bit of Monty Python vibes and the whole team is great. It's a great group of people. So can you tell us a little bit about your role, Jassy? So my role in this is uh, Dr. Fleming. So I am a psychologist and I am seeing William, one of the main characters on his sessions. And I have a, I have feelings for him. You know, like you have feelings for your patient because it's kind of like that um, in adulthood. So you don't you don't know is it because uh, he's such a cute little boy I want to smother him because I love him or is it something a bit more? But <laughs> because because it's a comedy, so oh my god, I love it. We had uh, script reading and it, it was it was hilarious. You know, it's one of those things um, um, uh, when you just need to do a. a how do you say like a, a less is more 
yeah. you know, like, or so you don't have to have like huge, huge text or something, you know, to kind of show the character. You just have that that little bit, you know, <laughs> to tweak everything, you know. So now you think, what's going on? And I love it. I love it. So um, uh, yeah. So this is actually Gavin's Garvin. I call him Garvin. Uh, Garvin's first uh, feature film. Uh, he is amazing Irish uh, director, writer, uh, screenwriter. Uh, he's won so many awards for his short films. Even this screenplay won, I think was the Greek, was it the Greek one I've sent you um, the, the, the link. Uh, he, he won uh, for the best screen screenplay yeah, award. Um, and he's just so talented. Yeah. And, uh, I auditioned for, for him before for one of his shorts. Um, and I didn't pass, you know, but so this time he said, uh, yeah, I want you to audition again for this role. And he actually, so he's very selective. He knows what he wants. Um, and that's why he's successful. Um, yes. And I'm so grateful I was given opportunity to work with him because I've known him for a long time. But, you know, if you're not right for the role, no matter how good friends you are, you know, you're just not right for the role and this this time uh, I am so um yeah I think my one will be filmed in the next month and a half um this those scenes yeah great to wait nice weather to come along because obviously they need to cycle they need to you know there's lots of cycling and outdoor stuff going on yeah so yes what such a fun um such a fun comedic film and this is you in blue right you're in the blue and black dress yes yeah 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 okay. that's and the poster for now but we'll see probably going to change uh for the you know later on <laughs> and all the different characters in fact in the back with the lady with the red hair and hat she is the um ghost the singing angel the mother right that comes back is that right jesse uh, uh, yeah yeah and the guy who is behind me um, that's actually her husband, <laughs> but, but they, oh gosh, you know, uh, cause you, you, you watch the little clips. So, um, they're trying to trick William, a little patient of mine, um, to drug him. So, so he can't win the race. Wow. And that's why kind of, they said like, oh, you, you need to dress up like his mom and like show up. And basically she's playing his mom. His mom was um, a singer and so I don't know. I'm not sure if I can talk a, talk a lot about this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to give you out everything. Um, but it's just, uh, it's, uh, with, it's hard with comedies because you know you have to have that tempo going on to keep it to keep it funny. And um, Gavin definitely has that. So uh, yeah, yeah. he's gonna, you know, we're all excited about it. <laughs> Super excited for you. I'm thrilled for you. I mean, it looks, it's such a great cast and look at all the characters, you know, the guy in the pinstripe soup with the gun, you know, um, and then of course we have the main character <laughs> in the white, in the, in the cycling uh, uniform and just look at the look on him. All, all of the characters have all great looks, all, each and every one of them. They play an important, important part and role and just, just super, super fun. And um, I wanted to ask you, you know, we have to start wrapping it up soon. I'm so sorry, the time has gone so fast, but I wanted to ask you um, one more question. Do you have any social messages or something on your heart that you would like to share with the world, Jassy? Oh, uh, well, I, cause you know, like I'm a spiritualist. So I, I, I do my prayers every day and I one of the prayers always is the prayer for me to to pray for the world for people for good in people's heart um because I do feel like what you give out you know a kind of touch people and uh, like smile can can travel so uh, so so is prayer you know so I just wish well to everyone because we are here for such a short time <laughs> when you think about it. So it's so important that we are here for each other. 
Yes. Oh, I love that so much. And that's going to be so well received from everyone who watches this. Um, I love that. That is beautiful. Thank you so much, Jassy. And I feel the exact same way. Uh, we are like-minded. I just wanted to share that with you. And that's why I'm so thankful that Deborah brought us together here. And um, before we go, I want to ask you, Jassy, how can people follow you? How can they support you? How can they get in contact with you if they want to hire you as a wonderful actress? Uh, so, well, for work, obviously, uh, through my agent, um, Catherine from AC Actors Agency. Um, I do have a, a Twitter. I have um, Facebook. That's all in my name, Jesse Mortimer, and uh, Instagram. So uh, people can get in touch on those uh, popular uh, platforms, as I would say. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, AJ. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And... Um... Jassy, thank you so much. So definitely follow Jassy on all of those social media uh, handles and uh, support her in every way possible. And Jassy, uh, I just want to thank you again for being an absolute incredible guest, special VIP. You're absolutely lovely in every way. Um, I'm so honored to have had you and spoken with you today on my show. And anytime, if you need anything at all, please reach out to me. I'm here for you, Jesse, and I'd love to I'd love to support you in any way possible. So, thank you again. Thank you, AJ, so much. I I feel your love and your oh my God. I just want to give you that yeah, <laughs> huge huge virtual hug. And what you do, it's amazing. So thank you so much for uh, giving me your time to speak. <laughs> thank so you Jesse. thank you so much and uh we love you and adore you and so until next time until we meet again jesse au revoir for now au revoir bye bye